Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's yoga flow is going to be a full body flow in 10 minutes. So we're gonna start off at the back of the mat and we're gonna come into our wide legged like child's pose. So take those knees out as wide as the mat, keeping the toes touching together, walk those hands out towards the top of the mat and bring your forehead down to rest on the mat or a block or a cushion. Once you're here, you can relax those elbows to the mat. Relax those hips towards the heels. Just settling in here to our first pose of this flow. Start to take some deep belly breaths here. Really feeling the expansion into the tummy. Take one more deep breath here. And when you're ready, just lift the forehead off the mat, start to walk those hands back in. We're gonna make our way into our tabletop pose now. Bring those knees together and come onto the hands and knees. Once you're in your tabletop pose, let's go for four rounds of cat cow. So lower that belly, lift the gaze, lift the tailbone. Start to round into the spine, tuck the chin towards the chest. Inhale as you lower. Exhale as you round in. Inhale. Exhale. One more on your own. And when you're ready, just come back to that neutral tabletop position. So I really want you to engage your core here. We're gonna send the left toes towards the back of the mat. Really feel into that strong core. Lean the weight into that left hand and bring that right hand up off the mat so the right bicep is coming along the ear. From here, I want you to try and lift that back foot off of the mat, coming up to hip height. This is our balancing tabletop position. Keeping a steady core here. Take one more breath. Bring the knee and the hand back down to the mat, back to your neutral tabletop position. So we're going to prep for that on the other side. Again, engage that core. You're aiming for a flat back here. Send those right toes this time to the back of the mat. Lean the weight into that right hand. Start to lift the left hand off of the mat, bringing that left bicep along the ear. From here, start to lift that right foot off of the mat to hip height. And you're now in your balancing tabletop pose. Keeping the breath going here, in through the nose and out through the nose. Take one more breath here. And come back to your tabletop position. From here, I want you to kick stand that left foot just off of the mat. Bring that right foot towards the back of the mat as you stack your right hip on top of your left. That right arm can sweep up towards the sky. This is our modified side plank. And in your modified side plank, you can bring that right bicep along the ear and really stretch it out. Feeling a lovely stretch into that right side body. And from here, make your way back into that tabletop position. Once in your tabletop, let's go for one round of cat cow. Lower that belly, lift the gaze. Round into that spine, tuck the chin. Coming back to your neutral tabletop, let's do modified side plank on the other side. This time, kickstand the right foot just off the mat, bringing that left foot to the back of the mat, stacking those hips over each other. Sweep the left arm up to the sky this time.
bring that left bicep along the ear, reaching that left hand out as long as you can, really getting into those left sided ribs. And when you're ready, come back to a table top position. One round of cat cow here. Inhale as you lower. Exhale as you round. Coming back to neutral tabletop, let's come into our first down dog. Shift those hands an inch or two forward. Tuck those toes, press into the mat, engage the core as you lift the hips up and back, sending those heels in the general direction of the mat. You can start to pedal it out here, just stretching into the backs of the legs, stretching into the calves. This is our first down dog. So you might feel a little bit stiff. And when you're ready, find some stillness in your down dog, really keeping those hips nice and high, keeping the chest towards those knees, which can have a generous bend in them if you wish. From here, lean the weight into that left foot, bring the right foot off of the mat, sweep it up towards the sky, bend into that right knee, open up the hip for three-legged dog. From here, start to shift onto the ball of that left foot. Bring that right knee in towards the chest. Place that right foot in between the gates of the hands. I want you to bring that back foot flat to the mat, parallel to the short edge. Your front toes are facing towards the top of the mat. Engage the core, start to lift up and bring those arms out long either side. Gaze can come over that right hand. This is our warrior two pose. Having a nice, generous bend in that front knee, keeping that knee open. From here, start to shift forward. You can bring that back hand to the back leg as you sweep that right hand up overhead. Again, bicep along the ear. This is our reverse warrior. Making sure to keep that shoulder nice and open and gaze towards the ceiling if your balance allows. Bring those hands back to your warrior two and from here I want you to straighten that front leg, send those hips to the back of the mat, start to shift forward bringing that right hand all the way down to the inside of the front leg, left hand can go towards the sky, gaze can follow the left hand once again, if you have the balance. This is our triangle pose. From here, start to bend into that front knee. I want your hands to frame that front foot. Send that right foot to the back of the mat, coming into your plank position here. So send the heels towards the back of the mat. Nice, strong shoulders, fingertips spread nice and wide. Lower the knees to the mat. Untuck those toes. Start to lower the chest in between the gates of the hands, keeping those elbows tucked. Press into the mat, lift the gaze for cobra. Release back to the mat here, tuck those toes, press into the mat, lift those hips up and back, making your way to down dog. Once more, pedal it out. Again, find some stillness here in your down dog. This time, lean the weight into the right foot, lifting the left foot off of the mat, lifting it up towards the sky. Bend into that left knee, three-legged dog. Start to shift forward, bring that left knee in towards the chest, step it in between the gates of the hands. Swivel that back foot flat to the mat so it's parallel, keeping those front toes facing towards the mat. Start to lift the chest off of the knee, take those hands out nice and wide. Gaze can come over the left hand. Warrior two on the other side. From here, shift ever so slightly forward. The right hand can come to the back of the leg. Sweep that left hand up overhead. This is our reverse warrior, keeping that left shoulder nice and open.
Bring those hands back to your warrior two. From here, straighten that front leg. Send those hips to the back of the mat. Start to shift forward. Bring that left hand all the way down to the inside of that left leg. Bring that right hand up towards the sky. Gaze can follow. Triangle pose. From here, start to bend into that front leg. Bring the hands down to frame that front foot. Left foot can be sent to the back of the mat to meet the right. Plank pose here. Lower those knees, untuck those toes. Lower the chest in between the gates of the hands. Press up for cobra. Release once more to the mat. Tuck those toes, press into the mat. Lift the hips up and back. Down dog. Pedal it out once more. This is the last down dog of our practice. Now, find some stillness here in your down dog. And when you're ready, bring those knees down to the mat. We're going to make our way down onto our backs. Once you are down onto the mat, I want you to bring both the knees in towards the chest. Hands can come onto the tops of the knees and just gently rock side to side here. A nice way just to wind down our practice. Find some stillness here and we're gonna go for some knee circles. So take the knees out wide, push them away, bring them back in. Two more like that. Change direction. And bring the knees back in. Keep the right knee in towards the chest. Straighten out that left leg. Take that right knee across the body here, stacking the right hip over the left. The right arm can come out long. A nice spinal twist. Bring that right knee back into center. Let's switch sides. So send the right leg out long. Bring the left knee in towards the chest. Take that left knee across the body. Second the left hip over the right this time. Send that left arm out long beside you. And bring that left knee back into center. Bring both knees into the chest once more. Wrap those arms around the shins. Tuck the chin towards the chest. Give yourself a little hug. And release the arms, release the legs, and slowly make your way back up to a seated position. Whatever that looks like for you, I'm going to go for cross-legged. Once you're here, just give a shrug of the shoulders down and away from the ears. Bring those hands to prayer center and close the eyes. We'll go for one cleansing breath to close this practice together. Inhale deeply through the nose. Sigh it out the mouth. Gently open your eyes as you come back into the room. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Please check out the other classes that I have on my channel and consider subscribing.